What's up, guys? It's MB Boxing, and today I'm predicting a co-main event of the Wilder vs. Fury 2 undercard, and it is between Prince Charles Martin and Gerald uh, Guy on Negro Washington for the IBF World Heavyweight Championship Eliminator. As I said in my Wilder vs. Fury prediction, this will be taking place Saturday, February 22nd on pay-per-view at the MGM Grand Garden Arena. To get into both fighters, Prince Charles Martin, 27-2, and two, one draw with 24 big wins by knockout. His opponent, Gerald Washington, 20 wins, 3 defeats, 1 draw, 13 by knockout. Both fighters are coming off of wins on the same show. Prince Charles Martin knocking out Daniel Martz in the fourth round. And Gerald Washington getting a slightly more impressive victory against Robert the Nordic Nightmare Hellenius on the same card by knockout in round number 8. In that fight, I had Hellenius ahead. He was out landing Washington. He made Washington uh, miss a lot of his shots. He was out landing by about 40 punches. But then, towards the later rounds, Washington landed a couple good hooks, wobbling Hellenius. Then he got knocked out cold. And uh, his opponent, Prince Charles Martin, he was winning every round until the fourth round, where he dropped Daniel Morris twice with body shots. It was an excellent straight uh, left to the body, and you could see Daniel Mart's face in the video. Opened his mouth, gasped, and went to the canvas, and he did not get get up before the 10 count reached, and the fight was over. And in that fight, uh, Prince Charles Martin call, called out Deontay Wilder and Manuel Char. I believe he beats Manuel Char. Wilder would be a little far-fetched, but he 100% beats Manuel Char, and I don't know when he's going to fight. But it seems like he's going to face off against Trevor Bryan. Well, to get into this fight, um, I believe that Prince Charles Martin is going to get the knockout victory. And um, he is a former IBF world champion. Most people forget about that. I was at the fight three years ago, about four years ago, um, in January, January 16th, on the Wilder Spilka coming event. Charles Martin faced off against... Vatislav is bizarre Glasgow. There was one slip. And then I had Martin ahead winning both rounds, 2018. And then Martin landed a check right, it looked like. Hit Glasgow, but also his knee fell. And he fell down. Ref called it a knockdown. It, he did land. He did make contact with a punch. But the ref called it a knockdown. Glasgow did not continue. Then um, Prince Charles Martin won the IBF title. And he took on Anthony Joshua, where he lost by second round knockout. And he did say he injured his rib before the fight, and I can affirm, uh, confirm that. Also, um, he took on Adam Karnatsky. I scored the fight a draw. Uh, judges scored at 96-94, which isn't really a bad scorecard. It was a very close fight at the end. Martin landed great hooks in straights on Karnatsky in round 10. If it was sure a 12-round fight. I feel like Martin could have knocked out Kayaki if not got the decision, as he does a huge power in the straight left. As an opponent, uh, Gerald Aguayo Negro Washington, he challenged for the title against Deontay Wilder, where he got stopped in round five. And he also fought against Adam Kovnatsky, which is very comparable to the Charles Martin fight with Kayaki. Gerald Washington did get knocked out by uh, Karnacki in the second round, obliteration, total obliteration ball. When he faced Martin, it was a very closely contested heavyweight bout. Gerald Washington also faced off against Gerald Miller, where he was losing the fight until the, his corner stopped the fight. And all three of Gerald Washington's losses are by KO. So I do think that Prince Charles Martin will stop Gerald Washington probably winning most of the rounds, outlanding him, probably landing a huge straight left to the head or body, and Washington would either quit in his corner or he'd just get knocked out. After, I believe, Charles Martin will get the number one spot, if not number two, and if he could fight for a interim title or the IBF title against Joshua, that would be a fun fight, Joshua versus, jo Joshua versus Martin too. Revenge and Repeat has a good storyline. I think it's a decent fight, although most people think that obviously Martin would lose again, but 
it's way closer than you guys think. Being that Martin did show he is able to compete against some of the top ten as he faced up against Adam Kovnatsky. But Gerald Washington, if he loses, I feel like he should retire, being that he has all four of his losses by knockout if he loses by KO. And he's really going to go nowhere at the age of 37. And uh, that is really it. I'm going to be boxing, and I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.